So hey y'all, this look should be pretty easy to follow along with and to do because we are doing the smoky eye routine again, but we're going to cut our crease this time to give a little crisp to it. So we're gonna go in with the boxer crayon and we're gonna use the black shade. We did do the brown under before, but I'll show you on the other eye just so you can have a better visual of it. So this is the brown shade, you're going to pack it on and then you're just going to pack that black on and just blend everything out. And you're going to leave that lid space Base as open as possible if you want to see how I prime my base you could go ahead and watch any of the other videos from my Halloween series I go through doing that very detailed so we're gonna go in with the blank canvas and we're just going to use it to cut our crease so a trick if you have hooded eyes like I do you're just going to put a little bit of the base on the tip of your eyelid and then look up and boom it's gonna just show you where your crease stop and then you just go above it a little bit just a smidge i know this video is sped up so it looks like i'm going fast but really take your time time especially if you are new to this so we're just gonna go ahead and cover that entire base and then we're gonna do it to the other eye and we're going to jump into the other shades that we're going to add to your lid so we're gonna use the box of crayon again and we're going to go in with that silver shade and we're just gonna pack it on to the end of the lid and then we're going to do that to the other eye and then at the front of the lid we're actually going to pack on a white shimmer shade so if you do not have this specific palette you could go ahead and just use any other palette you have just make sure that the black and the white shade that you are going to be using will be shimmered because I think it's going to bring it out a little bit more versus just using a regular black and white but this specific palette I like the, the black and the white because it's super pigmented so you're just gonna go ahead and just do that and like I said add the white in the front of your lid and it's just going to make everything come together so obviously as you know we're gonna blend this entire thing out if you just want to leave it like this that's fine you could go ahead and do that but what I am going to do is go ahead and pack in some of that black on the outer corner corner and just make everything come in so that the transition is smooth as possible and seamless and it doesn't seem as if like I cut my crease and then I have the shadow underneath it obviously doesn't look bad but I want it to come together as best as it can so i'm going in with that brush i'm gonna dust it off whenever you are using black make sure you pat off the excess powder because i'm telling you black is very pigmented and powerful so it will shine through no matter what it is that you do so less is more when it comes to makeup you can always add on but taking stuff off is very annoying i know i don't like to do it so to make your life easier just go ahead and dust that bad boy off so we're just gonna do this just to make sure everything is like transitioning into each other very well and then we're just gonna go into our face so i washed and moisturized my face off camera obviously before i even did my shadow on my brows and stuff but i'm gonna go in with this elf putty primer and i'm just going to prime my face with that we're gonna use the ding 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 y'all already know <laughs> We're gonna do the underpainting method because whenever it comes to a makeup look that we want it to be as flawless as possible, I'm telling you, cover up all that you can. I mean, I know with my face, I really don't break out that much. I try to take very good care of my skin, but I still do this method because I want it to be as flawless as possible. So I'm gonna go in and use the Huda Beauty Full Filler Foundation and I'm using it in Nutmeg. And I'm just going in and blending everything out. Like I said, if the foundation blend, it's your best friend. So just take your time while doing this. The video is sped up, but I do take my time whenever I'm doing my makeup. So I'm going to go in with the Melania in shade 155 and I believe 140 or 143. And I'm just going to add that to the areas that I want to highlight. And I'm going to use the method of using a brush first to blend it out. And then I'm going in with a a clean and dry beauty blender that is puffy do not add any fixing spray or any um setting spray to the the beauty blender what is wrong why can't i speak <laughs> just add it to your face and it will make a hell of a difference so i'm gonna go in with this huda beauty contour cream just to contour all of my areas that i really want to draw attention to remember this is a really dark look like you're going for a witchy view so you want everything to come together as seamlessly and smooth as possible 
I'm just gonna go in and just spray to set everything in. Then I'm just gonna add some highlights. I'm using a crayon case on a roll highlighter. And then at this point, when you are doing the techniques or just the symbols that will make the look of a witch come together, I really, 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 really cannot stress this enough to trace out and then go in and do stuff. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liner and I use it to for the crescent moon just to make sure that, or the half moon, I'm just going in and just taking my time to dot everything. And then on the bridge of my nose, I'm using lines across just like um, small, like largest to small. And I just did a, a tier of three. And then under my eyes, I wanted to do like a upside down triangle because I'm going to be filling in that shade with black and then going over it with the silver as well. So pretty much if you don't want to do the under eye one, you don't have to do that part, you can skip it. But I knew I wanted to kind of just bring together the look the best way that I felt captured what I was going for. And I'm just gonna go in with the Miron Paradise Paint Palette and this is the black. I'm just taking the time to make sure that I fill it in and I'm using a brush that came with the palette before I actually go in and add the silver to it. At the end of the look, like as you can tell by the cover photo, I did add jewels to my look. You don't have to do it. You can keep it this way simplistically if you want to. I'm just extra AF. That's the only reason why I did it. So <laughs> we're gonna go in and just fill under the eye with the black as well. And we're just going to make sure we go slow because slow and steady does win the race. This is not a chase. We don't have to rush to do nothing because you just want it to be complete the way you want it the first time around. Once you fill all of that in, you're just gonna go over it, like I said, with the silver shade that's on your lid. So I actually blend my white and my silver from the crayon case. So I just go ahead and I add those to it and just kind of bring everything together and then for my lips i'm just gonna add a black lipstick it's from ColourPop. it's the friday shade and that's pretty much it this is how i achieve this entire look if you try it let me know tag me shout me out let me just see what you did but thank you guys so much for watching and supporting your girl and i really hope you have a blessed and wonderful day